Hello, welcome to the Repair Specialist and in this video I'm going to show you a test that I use on an engine that I suspect is using too much oil. So if you feel like you're putting more oil in your engine than you should be, then maybe you can use this test to determine just how much you're using. But please be aware, I'm just showing you the way I do this and it's up to you whether you want to try this yourself. Okay, so first of all, if we're talking about oil loss in an engine, then we have to consider how much oil is actually being consumed. And this is largely because we need to gather an understanding of whether it's fair use or excessive use. And so if we could make a calculation for every 3,000 miles and we find out that the engine is using half of a quart and a quart is a quarter of a gallon and so we're talking about half of that quarter of a gallon. So that's equivalent to one pint of oil. Well if it's around about this amount this is what is considered normal fair usage of oil in an engine. But if the engine's using any more than this particularly if it's using a whole quart or more then this is considered as excessive use of oil. And so we need to know exactly how much oil the engine is consuming and we can do this using the following test. First make sure the vehicle or the machine is parked on a level surface. And if it's already on a level surface and has been there for a number of hours, overnight, etc., then we can go straight into the test. Otherwise, just allow for approximately half an hour for the oil to flow back down to the bottom of the engine sump so we can get an accurate reading. Next, remove the dipstick and clean it with a rag and then make sure it's fully inserted back down into its tube. After a moment or two, remove the dipstick again and then read the oil level. Now, assuming that your engine is using oil and that you've got less oil in there than you should have, which is showing on the dipstick, we now need to add to this oil to fill it to the correct level. And so now that it's filled to the correct level, as indicated on the dipstick, we then need to take a note of the mileage of the vehicle, as expressed on the odometer. We then use the vehicle as normal, keeping regular checks on the oil level to make sure it doesn't go too low. But remember, unless it does go too dangerously low, then we don't want to add to that oil at the moment. And that's because when we reach 3,000 miles on from our last mileage reading, it's at that point that we need to check the dipstick to see how much oil remains in the engine. So as before, we remove the dipstick, wipe it with a rag, fully insert it into the tube, and then lift it out to see where the oil level mark is. And assuming that we think the engine's got an oil consumption issue, and that's why we're doing this test in the first place, then upon this check, 3,000 miles later than when we filled it up to the right level, there will now undoubtedly be less oil in the engine. And now we've took an accurate measurement of how much oil is left in, we now need to add more oil in measured amounts so we can get an overall measurement of how much oil we have just added since we set the level correctly 3,000 miles ago. And so however much oil you have just added is how much the engine is using in a 3,000 mile period. And so, as we were saying before, if you've only added around about half of a quart, then this is normal engine usage of oil. But anything up to a quart or more, then this is excessive usage. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's the test during this very short video. And it's only the test that I've explained, and I haven't gone through any diagnosis of why the oil's leaking. That topic in itself is going to be the point of another video. But if you do choose to use this test, I'm sure it will all work out well for you. And please, if you think you've gained anything from this video, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.